A South Florida family is more than relieved tonight. Just take a look at this reunion on your screens. Their teenage son who has autism was found safe after being missing for more than 24 hours. Now you may have gotten that alert on your phone about this young boy. Police did find him at an Apple store. CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor is joining us from the family's home in Brownsville with that family's happy ending. It's definitely a story with a happy ending. Let's not forget that flyers were created with this kid's face asking the community, if you've seen him, please call. And it worked a lot. But first, we're gonna start with a priceless moment, a mother's joy of seeing her son again after she feared the worst. <laughs> the parents of 14-year-old Jose Bolaños could not stop hugging him while he said, I will stop doing things that are not correct. I don't want to hurt you. Earlier, his mom, Dariela Diaz, told us how everything started on Friday around 4 p.m. He told me, Mom, I'm going to take out the garbage. But after five minutes, I did not hear him. And I thought that was odd. That's when Jose Bolaños went missing. This quick ring video from my neighbor captured the moment when he left his house. Miami police got involved. We have done most of what we can to look for this child. These flyers with his pictures were handed out everywhere. We approached the teenager to find out where he went. I was trying to find a uh, my missing phone, which it was lost a couple of days ago. Bolaños lost his cell phone at his school, but he was more concerned about his iCloud. I went to a nearby metro station, and uh, yes, I went to a metro station, and then I tried to find like a nearest Apple store to find, and uh, because I needed to repair my my uh, iCloud on it. Police say the teenager went to an Apple store at Brickell City Center. While in the store, he approached a kid and asked him to use his phone. The kid's mother then saw the flyer with Jose's picture and called the police. Investigators went to the store and saw him on surveillance video. Not only was he there on Friday, but also Saturday. They approached him and brought him home. Gracias de verdad, de todo corazón. I thank you so much. Thank you, because without you, this would not have happened, his mom told CBS News Miami. It is not known where Jose Bolaños spent Friday night. Cops asked him if he remembered. According to police, he told him he found a flat place, and that's where he decided to sleep. But he doesn't know where. What he does know is that he's happy to be back home, where he is looking forward to have home food again. In Brownsville, Ivan Taylor, CBS News, Miami.